guys welcome back to the channel so today we're gonna to be at Raphael's house you guys seen him on the channel before uh, we did a wash video here at his house and today we're gonna to be doing the same thing because in two weeks from now we're gonna be heading up to Orlando for the invasion of Orlando and this is gonna be one of many different videos I'm gonna go into full detail on stripping some of the sealants uh, to do the wheel cleaning videos and in a little bit I'm gonna throw on this mic so I can give you guys a better view and a better experience when I do this detail. Get going. Get my shades on. A foamer is that dream. There should be a few brushes in there. And throughout this video, I want to be chiming in with exactly what tools I use. Um, but majority of the tools that I use is going to be listed in the description. This right here is one of my favorite tools. It's the easy detail brush. A lot of times, like for example, the BBS LMs, they're so thin spoke. And to get another wheel brush in there, like the microfiber madness, it just takes a little while. And it's so this is the brush that you want to use. the one and it's fine because this is thin enough to fit into the spokes and wrap up like the main thing is you definitely want to start with the barrels first right the reason why you want to start with the barrels first is because a lot of the dirt's already inside the barrel here you you don't want to do the outside and then push the dirt back out so it's easier to kind of do the barrel which is probably the dirtiest portion of your wheel especially the front of the brakes because your brakes on the front are massive. All right, so in this right here is that, if you, see, if you watch the other videos, I always throw in some uh, PNS Brake Buster into a Adams Polishes bottle. And just because this bottle handles um, this chemical, because sometimes when you use bottles with the, the wrong nozzle, it gets all clogged up. But what I have here is PNS Brake Buster, and this is good for tires too. So obviously my car is pretty much clean and dialed in. But when you spray it onto the tires, it cleans it. It it takes a lot of the browning off your tires. If you ever get
And the only thing that's bad about it is that you have to keep pumping it. That's the only thing that's the downside of it. You definitely don't want to miss out the lug nuts because the lug nuts do capture a lot of uh, brake dust. So that's something you want to go with. And the brake calibers, you can't miss that out. There's no reason to not do your brake calibers unless your, your wheels are really thin spoked and you can't get in there. But there's always a brush where you can kind of get that. And what's so cool about these BBS FIRs is that they have these cutouts in the wheels on the spokes but it does make it a little more of a pain to clean because you have to kind of go on both angles and really get it out and clean it out. And one thing you really want to do too is really get the tires. Your tires are always dirty. Um, in order to put tire shine properly, you want to clean your tires and using the brake buster on the tires, it cleans the tires. And also when you go to the next car show or any of these car events, look at your buddy's cars, look at their tires. If the tires are browning, they need to clean the tires, number one. And also, too, when they use the brake buster on it, the foam turns from white to brown, and you can see that. So obviously, I don't have much dirt and dust on it. I don't need to do that. So I'm pretty much good. So the soap I like to use is um, Obsessed Garage Decon Soap. Obsessed Garage has produced their own soap. I think um, what I like about this right here is that it takes all the wax and sealant that's already on the car. And before you apply any new wax or sealants or even like ceramic sprays and things like that, you wanna take the wax and sealants off because if you were to apply that onto it without doing this step, it's not gonna bond correctly. It's not gonna last. So this soap right here is something that you would use maybe once or twice a year, right? That's exactly. it. Because you're not gonna use every single wash because you're gonna be taking away some of the protection you already have on. Um, what, we already filled it up off camera. We have uh, decon soap with some water. We're gonna attach it to the foam gun uh, or foam cannon. And I'm gonna cap some, some B-roll for you guys and we'll uh, enjoy it. This is probably the best part, right? Yeah, for sure. So as you can see, most of the soap that was on the vehicle, it just took a little time to get set up. It's all washed off because I do have protectant on there. I have a sealant and also I always top my car washes with bead maker. But we're gonna take this soap and use it. And when you guys see when he blows the soap off the car, you'll see how it gets more like a sheeting effect instead of beading, you'll see it later on. But uh, let me get the mitts. And then in the process of this, you definitely want to start with the top first and go down. And I gotta thank Raphael for helping me out because this process would take a long, long time, especially trying to film it too. I'll start on the other side. The worst portion of the car to start with is the rear portion of the car because a lot of that, um, it's the most dirtiest portion of the car. A lot of the dirt, your exhaust fumes, um, the road grime gets all kicked back up there. And <clears throat> you don't want that on your, uh, your gloves, dipping it back into the water. Like I said, you want to utilize rinsing your glove off as much as possible. But I'm excited about this next event, the one in Orlando. Yeah, I bet. I think it's going to be a huge turnout. I think a lot of people are going to come out and really enjoy it. We have a lot of people from up north that are confirming that they're coming down. They bought tickets. And then in this wash method, I like to kind of go over each panel multiple times because I want to utilize the soap properties on 
taking all the wax and sealants off of it. Here's something that you shouldn't do. I'm gonna do it on the window because it's, you're not gonna be able to scratch it. You should not go in circles like this when you wash a car. Because it's not like it's gonna prevent your car from being swirled up. What it is that when you induce swirl marks like this with a mitt that's dirty because you could try to clean it up as much as possible, it's a lot harder to get those scratches out instead of just going side to side. And you don't need a lot of pressure when you wash a car. You don't have to hold on with your full body weight or portion of your body weight. You just have to take the weight of the mitt and glide it onto the paint and surface areas. So you don't have to use a lot of pressure. So there's really no point of using the blower because right now the, the paint's pretty bare, right? So the water's yeah. gonna stick on it. Yeah. So I got this towel from Obsessed Garage. I think this is from um, the rag company. I don't know what this one specifically is, but I'll give you one. I have another one to uh, dry this car off. Cool. We're kind of pressed on the areas where it's exposed to the sun because that's when you could get the water etching. But you're still gonna have to dry it with the towel. Especially in the sun. Especially in the sun, because leave it. the water etching happens. And you know about that. Yes, sir. Trying to get one of those water decontamination systems. I do want to say there's really no one specific way to wash a car, right? There's multiple different ways. There's multiple different ways to detail your car. There's ways of not doing it. Yeah, there's many ways that you shouldn't be doing it, but this is my way. If it works for me, it might work for you. If it doesn't work for you, then find a different method. Um, but a lot of these methods I've taken from watching other people's uh, YouTube channels, um, browsing the forums. And trying and error. Yeah. And you know what it is, man? When you guys come to the show, if you notice that the car is not squeaky clean and it's not whatever, call me out on it. I will say for the show, since we're driving three and a half hours up there, I'm really not going to have time to wash it because I'm going to have so many other things to do to prepare for the show, you know, logistics, also filming. So what we're going to do is we're going to have um, hands off or hands on detailing to uh, wash my car for the show. and. Um, He's an Obsessed Garage user and enthusiast, so he knows about the methods, so I trust him. And I think uh, Kevin Tipton, uh, he was one that recommended using him, so uh, Kevin, don't let me down. If he, if he messes up my car, it's gonna be on you. you. See any swirls? Just the ones I created now. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Emotional damage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that guy's funny. That's my cousin. I know. <laughs>